Hey people, welcome to the channel and again playing Star Citizen 323 Wave 1. As I always say, these are times in which you cannot pay much attention to the bugs, glitches, issues. All of this is more than understandable, but we cannot avoid pointing out some serious problems. Navigation, the star map, all of this is very, very, uh, how should I say, it's just worse. It's worse than before, which is unbelievable, but, and it's not new, we, we already saw in the videos, it's just counterintuitive, it is, it's bloated as hell, it's bloated like a, like a, like a cheap Chinese tablet with with bloatware and then I mean the, the graphics all of this thing for example it used to be that if I flew out of a station and I already knew how to play the game because I've been playing it for years I could just point out directly where I'm going and I had a good idea now that's no longer the case now we have all of these little bubbles that pop when you get close if you don't get close you don't see them so you have to guess you have to guess where you want to go and then after guessing you have to point at it and wait for a while to see what the hell pops up so you see I have to wait here and they all have the same bubbly effects whoever came up with this needs to find a new job you're not useful as a game designer if you made things so much worse than they were before this is a lot worse than it was before. If I want to find the city in this planet, there's only one city for each planet, and it used to be that I had a very clear symbol that I could go towards as soon as I got out of my ship, I could just, as soon as I got out of the station, I could find it and go straight for that. No longer the case. Now I have to check each one individually or just go for the map, which is terrible as well. So, just keeping it real, this has nothing to do with the issues of Wave 1, all of this fucking, you know, skin. Why do you make things more bloated, heavier, in terms of graphics, than it was before? The idea is to streamline, make things non-intrusive and easy to read. Why do I have all of this shit all over? All I mean, there's times in which you have, like, a, a little... You have, you have your, your health symbol and a little shadow underneath. It is stuff straight out of 2005, basically. So, as I was saying, if I want to find a New Babbage, well, good luck. Good luck, buddy, finding fucking New Babbage because you would have something that show you, oh, it's, it's a marker. It's a, a orbital marker. No, 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 no. Now, orbital marker... It's the same thing as this one, so you have to wait, waste time, read, find, try to guess where the fuck it is, and hopefully one day, when the server gets around to it, it will show you what the hell that thing is, because if not, it's all the same. All the same little fucking little circles, and you have to wait until it displays the text. You cannot have... The convenience of a little symbol that, yeah, the little house symbol, yeah, that's where New Babbage is. Honestly, I'm looking now for New Babbage. Where the fuck is New Babbage in Microtech? Why do I now have... Oh, fine, okay. What's the symbol? No, no symbol. It's just exactly like everything else. I have to guess where it is, get closer. Oh, there it is. What, what about... It could have been this one. Oh, there it is. It's it, it, it. I mean, what fucking idiot came up with this of slowly like typing the thing instead of showing it right away? No, no, you have to wait. It's like an old. It's like a like, like yeah. It's like Morse code. Here comes the telegram. Da, 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 the new babish. Okay, because servers work so well that the thing I love the most is wasting more time. That if there's something I like in Star Citizen is wasting even more time than before. Used to be that I could just look for the for the little little housey little symbol that's different from all of the others. Just go there, done. And again, this is not a wave one issue. This is what they came up with the best minds in video games. They came up with this. Now you don't see the symbols, you don't see 
a any landmarks you just have to guess where you want to go and then try to find something that kind of could potentially be where you want to go okay and now wait and if i click if i make the mistake of clicking between quantum travel mode it is slower than before we have to wait until it loads up god knows what the fuck it is and then that's it and when you get closer i'll show you exactly what i mean so i want to go to dumboro okay that's where i want to go all right so i go into quantum travel mode right long press right what's happening now i don't know who the hell knows eventually maybe it calibrated it spooled it refueled let's try one more time long press there we go okay nice again wave one issues are a thing this is not it same with all all of the bloated shit with any interaction yet now you have more steps for opening a box for looting a corpse you have more steps than before why why do i have more shit floating around when i click on anything that i want to interact with the idea is to make it as seamless as possible not this pile of garbage who came up with the idea of making everything clunkier and bloated with shit and more graphic heavy light stream quick no no we, we cannot have nice things apparently it is too much don't get me started on master modes this navigation thing is it's just terrible you know getting used to this crap and if you have your landing gear down you're slowed down <laughs> to what 30 is it right but if you have the door open that doesn't affect you in the least uh it is so light that i cannot even read the fucking numbers i don't have any idea of what speed i'm dealing with here no idea uh and again you have to wait a fucking eternity until if i want to quickly check before crashing you know, where is it that i'm going it used to be i could go into the quantum mode yeah so everything clunkier just worse than before it is insane um and we don't have the, the permanent hangers we don't have a, a you know all of that stuff that i said we wouldn't have and i said wait to see what they finally deliver well as always sorry to say right as always it is it is a pain in the ass to be what right? but it, i mean I, i'm no wizard I, I i'm not a magician here it's just that year after year they do the exact same thing, the overhype and underdeliver, and this time it's probably the worst I've seen. It, this crap with with the master modes and so arcadey fucking. If if they want to be so realistic, and and this thing, it, it's insane. How how inconvenient every they manage to make everything so inconvenient and bad <laughs> it is incredible that as as poor of a state as it was already in they managed to make it even worse again not talking about the bugs the glitchy the broken shit that wave one we knew would be no i'm talking about everything else that they're doing here it is insane it's it's truly unbelievable that they managed to make something that was the the only what what, what am I doing what, where am I accelerating now towards why why can I just stay the fuck still for once you go fast when you want to go slow that that's how intuitive this is when you want to go slow when you want to slow down you go faster when you want to go faster you can because atmosphere because landing gear oh wait the fucking huge hangar door is open that's not a problem now the landing gear <laughs> yeah you cannot I imagine how convenient it is when you have to get the hell out of there because of something that you're about you're about to get killed imagine how convenient that is for example now i just want to slow down what is it i'm supposed to do see how do i slow down here right let me know how what what kind of intuitive after playing this for years and so many hours they managed to do something that's so counterintuitive that i have to 
guess how to not die in this thing. Because there's all... <laughs> it's incredible. It's incredible that they made something so terrible. Now, this is not... Why the fuck am I dropping now like a freaking rock? This is how intuitive it is. This is the the anti-intuitive version. <laughs> I scroll what I scroll down. Can I stay still now? Is it too much? Okay, nice. Thank you. Um yeah, it, 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 there's a lot of issues here. It, it is horrible. The interface with you cannot you you cannot open a fucking box, and they have this dumbass shit F button. It looks like straight out of your keyboard. They have a square with an F floating on whatever you're trying to open. Instead of simply opening it, they're they're going with a with a, an F floating, and it kind of like vibrates or moves. Why? Why do they have all of this shit? All of, what? Fucking Chinese company bought CIG and, and got some uh, Fiverr guy making a new skin to plaster over the interface that they already had. That was somewhat serviceable. It was okay. I mean, it was nothing to brag about, but it fucking worked. Now we have this shit. It, it is truly, it, it is really bad. I mean, there's no way around it. And, I mean, we don't have the things that would have made this patch somewhat interesting. The, the permanent hangar, it's not here. Will it be? No fucking idea. Probably not. If I had to place a bet, I would say no. But, who knows? At this point, all we have is, yeah, wave one. All of the wave one shit. Yeah, constant 30Ks. That's not the problem. The problem is this. The problem is this pile of dog shit. And the problem is this. Dumb as shit map that makes no sense and it's worse than before. And they have a fucking little... <laughs> yeah, I have a, a little glass here to what? Search for too much to ask to have something more convenient already on display? Apparently, yes. Uh, it is what it is, guys. Just keeping it real, keeping it honest because I cannot take another fucking shill telling me that this is the best thing ever made in the history of video games when it's clearly worse than before. It is clearly... Now I'm dropping like a damn rock for why. I don't even know. I'll probably crash here and die. It is insane. Anyway, so horribly bad and not because of, of the polishing. No, it's because this is just bad. This is just terrible. And it is what it is. There we go. For no reason, we just fall and maybe die. Guys, that's going to be all for now. See you on the next one. Take care.